Now let's talk here about MATLAB commands that are used for the spatial descriptions and transformations. Uh, all these MATLAB commands are uh, available in uh, the robotics toolbox. So make sure you download the robotics toolbox and uh, execute these commands. The first command here is rotation about X axis. You can do it in two different ways. If you want a three by three matrix, that means Rx equals to rot X. This here is a function, rot X, and inside of this function, there's one argument, which is uh, the theta, the value of rotation, okay? And then you can call this uh, Rx or, you know, whatever other name you want to call it. If you want this to be represented as a transformation matrix, four by four transformation matrix, then you can use T rot X, okay? T rot X of theta, and that will give you a four by four transformation matrix where the rotation portion is the rotation of, uh, uh, of about this, this axis, axis X by the amount of theta and the translation portion will be zero, zero and zero. Okay. Now, if you want to do rotation about Y axis and you want to have a three by three matrix rotation matrix, then you use the function rot Y and the argument here is the angle of rotation. Or if you'd like to have a 4x4 four four transformation matrix, then the command for this is T rot Y, and you input here the angle of rotation. Again, the translation portion of this TY would be 0, 0, and 0. If you want to do rotation about Z axis, and you'd like to have a 3x3 three three rotation matrix, then you can use rot Z, and you input here the angle of rotation. Or if you'd like to have a 4x4 four four transformation matrix, you can use T rot Z, and you put input here the rotation angle okay and again for this one here the translation portion would be zero zero and zero uh, if you'd like to uh, have a translation in x y and z represented by a transformation matrix a four by four transformation matrix then you can use the command transl t-r-a-n-s-l and inside of this, there are three arguments, which are the values of, of X, Y, and Z. And that will give you a four by four transformation matrix that has values for uh, the translation, but has uh, an identity matrix in the rotation portion of this transformation matrix. Now, if you'd like to convert from a three by three rotation matrix to a four by four transformation matrix, you can use this command, R to T rotation to translation and inside there's an argument here that includes the rotation matrix three by three so you input the rotation matrix and it converts it into a transformation matrix uh, and of course the translation portion would be zero zero and zero if you would like to extract the rotation matrix out of a transformation matrix so you're going to convert a transformation four by four matrix into a rotation matrix of three by three in this case, you can use T to R, translation to rotation, and the input argument here is the four by four transformation matrix, and that would give you the rotation portion of this transformation matrix. Now notice that, you know, here it ignores uh, the translation portion of the transformation matrix, and it only extracts uh, the rotation portion uh, of this transformation matrix. Now, if you'd like to, uh, convert from a single angle ax axis or single angle vector uh, to rotation matrix, okay? If you'd like to have a three by three rotation matrix, then you can use ang vec to r, ang vec to r, okay? And there are two input arguments here. The first input is the angle of rotation, the single angle, and the second uh, argument is a three by one vector, which represents a k which is the axis of rotation. Okay, so that gives me a three by three rotation matrix. If you'd like this to be a four by four transformation matrix, you can use ang vec to tr, which represents transformation. And the arguments, again, the same thing, the theta of rotation and then the axis of rotation. Uh, of course, the theta is a single uh, value, which is a scalar, and k is a vector three by one vector that you can input here. Okay, now if you do this, the transformation matrix will have 0, 0, 0 uh, in the last column, which of course represents uh, the translation. Now, if you would like to convert rotation matrix to a single angle vector, okay, 
and if you have a 4x4 four four, uh, uh, transformation matrix, then you can use TR to angvec, and in here the input argument will be the 4x4 four four transformation matrix. Okay, and the output of this, if you put it here in between two square brackets, it can give you the the two outputs and name them whatever name that you have here. So it will name the theta, uh, whatever name you put first, and it will name k vector, whatever name you put uh, in the second argument here for the output. Uh, if you'd like to convert from Euler angles to rotation matrix, okay, that would give you a three by three uh, rotation matrix. Then you can use Euler to R, Euler to rotation. And here you have three uh, arguments: the alpha, beta, and gamma angles, and that would give you a three by three corresponding rotation matrix. If you would like this to be in a four by four format uh, as a transformation matrix, then you can use the Euler to TR transformation. Uh, and then the arguments are the same, which is our alpha and beta and gamma arguments. Okay, so that gives you again a 4x4 transformation matrix, and the translation portion of this would be 0, 0, and 0. Now, if you'd like to have a rotation matrix converted into an Euler uh, angles, okay, uh, if we have a 4x4 four four, uh, transformation, then you can use TR to Euler, EUL. And the input argument here is a transformation matrix. All right, so that that would extract uh, the Euler angles out of uh, this transformation matrix, and it put it here in a vector uh, form uh, that you can call whatever name you want. All right. In this slide here, I'm going to show some MATLAB commands that are useful for Chapter Two, uh, and I'm using here MATLAB release 2020A and the robotics toolbox released 10.4 um, so I pre-typed all the commands here in this uh, in this area uh, in an M file but I'm gonna copy and paste these commands and put it in the command uh, window so that you can see how they look uh, once we do that uh, so the first command here that I'm using is clear which clears uh, all the uh, variables that I have this is the variable or workspace window and then CLC will clear the screen if there's anything here on the command window so I'm going to take both of these, uh, take them out from here, copy and paste them here, and that would clear the screen as you see here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do uh, on these commands, I'm going to set up some matrices and some angles and variables that I'll be using for, uh, for later use uh, in this session. So the first thing here, I'm going to create a rotation matrix, a 3 by 3 rotation matrix. I just put these numbers here randomly. So this is a three by three matrix. Okay. And then I'm gonna also create a four by four transformation matrix uh, using the rotation matrix that I had before. So here on the left top portion, I'm gonna put the R, three by three R. And then next to it, one column, uh, three by one column will be zero, zero, zero. And then the last row will be zero, 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 and one. So I'm going to do that here. As you can see, both of these are the same. The rotation and transformation. The rotation portion of the transformation here is uh, the same as the rotation. All right. Uh, I'm going to also uh, put here some angles, define some angles. Angle 1, pi over 2. Angle 2, pi over 3. Angle 3, pi over 4. So I'm going to copy these and paste them here. Okay, so I have angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3 are defined in radians. Uh, and then I'm going to define also the vectors for x, y, and z. So this is the x vector, which is defined as 1, 0, 0, and the y vector as 0, 1, 0, and the z vector as 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the x vector, the y vector, and the z vector. All right, now we're going to look at uh, some robotics toolbox, toolbox commands um, that are useful for chapter two. Uh, the first command here is the root x. Uh, it creates a rotation matrix about uh, x axis, and the variable inside of this, the argument, is an angle. So I'm going to use angle two for this rotation matrix. So, and I'm going to call this rotation matrix rx. I'm going to copy this, paste it here. 
and that gives me rotation matrix about X which is a 3 by 3 rotation matrix as we see uh, in here and then the same thing I'm gonna do rotation about Y uh, and I'll call it RY I'm gonna use the same angle so I'm gonna copy this and paste it here that gives me rotation about Y 3 by 3 matrix and then similarly I'm gonna do rotation about Z and I'll call it RZ and I'll use the same angle so this is RZ and it's a 3 by 3 rotation matrix now sometimes we would like to use transformation matrix instead of rotation matrix although we don't have any translation uh, but we can use transformation matrix to represent uh, of course uh, in general we represent both rotation and translation uh, in the transformation matrix uh, but we can also use either of the two so here I'm gonna set up uh, a rotation about uh, about uh, X uh, but in the form of a 4 by 4 transformation matrix so for that command I use T rot X and then I input the angle here okay I'm gonna call this TX and I'm gonna use angle 2 as well so I'm gonna copy this paste it here as you can see here this is now a 4 by 4 transformation matrix the rotation portion of this the 3 by 3 is the rotation about X and the translation portion is 0 0 and 0 same thing I can do about Y so I can use T rot Y I'm gonna call it TY I will also use uh, the same angle ang2 so for this one here as you can see uh, it's a 4 by 4 transformation matrix that represents a rotation about Y and then same thing I can use transformation uh, using rotation about Z so I call this TZ and I'll use the same angle and I'll copy and paste here and that will show a transformation matrix 4x4 that represents rotation about Z axis okay now if I would like to also uh, put a 4x4 transformation matrix that only shows translation without rotation okay uh, as we said before uh, transformation matrix represents two things in general rotation portion which is the 3 by 3 on the top left and translation portion which is the 3 uh, by 1 column at the very end okay so I can uh, assume that the rotation is identity matrix and have only a translation uh, within my transformation matrix so for that command I'll use transl and the three arguments I need is the X and the Y and the Z values okay so I'll call this T T which you know I want to think about it as a transformation that represents only translation I'll copy this and paste it here and as you can see here, I have a 4 by 4 transformation matrix that represents only translation in X Y and Z the rotation portion is identity matrix okay now if you would like to convert a rotation matrix into a translation ma a transformation matrix I use R to T which represents rotation to translation uh, I'm sorry rotation to transformation and inside the argument here I'm gonna put the rotation the 3 by 3 rotation so it will what it will do it will do the rotation it will put the rotation in the rotation portion and it will replace the translation by zeros okay I'm gonna call this T new or TN and the command is R to T I'm gonna copy and paste here as you see here the rotation portion is still the same and translation is zeros so that all what it did is it made the 3 by 3 rotation matrix it made it a 4 by 4 transformation matrix again we can also convert the other way around we can convert a 4 by 4 transformation matrix into only rotation portion so that would extract the 3 by 3 rotation out of a transformation matrix and the command for this is T to R and the argument inside is the transformation matrix so I'm gonna call this R new or RN copy this paste it here and as you can see I was able to extract the 3 by 3 rotation matrix out of the transformation matrix um, another uh, a command here to convert from a single angle vector uh, representation of the rotation into a 3 by 3 rotation matrix okay so that command is ang vec 
to R. So angle vector to rotation matrix. And inside I put two arguments. One of them is the angle and the other one is the vector. Okay, so I'm going to use angle 2 that I defined earlier. I'm going to also use x vec uh, that defines the x axis. I'll call this rotation matrix RA, which in my mind it means R of angle vector. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And as you can see here, using angle 2, and the x vector, I was able to find the rotation matrix, which of course we know that it represents rotation about x since we use the x vector here. Okay. Uh, again, the same thing. Instead of if we would like this to be representative of uh, rotation using the four by four transformation matrix, I can use the same command, but then instead of R, I can use TR, which stands for transformation. So angvec to transformation. Okay. I'm going to use the same vector and the same angle, but I'm going to call it TA. So if I copy this, I paste it here, and that gives me a 4x4 four four transformation matrix. Now if you notice, it's the same, exact same rotation portion, but here it's represented in a 4x4 four four, uh, format. All right, if I want to do the other way around, if I have a transformation matrix, and I would like to extract the single angle, single a vector representation of that I use TR which is transformation to ang vec okay and inside here the argument you put is a transformation matrix okay now out of this I'm gonna get out two values which I'm gonna put here on this side I'm gonna name them one of them a and the other one V and usually these are put in a square bracket so it will name the angle the first variable here and then it will name the vector the second uh, variable that you put here. Okay, so I'm going to take this, copy it, and paste it here. And as you can see here, I was able to find the single angle, which is 1.047 radians, and the single vector, which we know that it's an x vector. Okay, now if I would like to convert from Euler angles to rotation matrix, the command for this is Euler to R, Euler to rotation, okay? And inside of the argument here, I'm going to put three different arguments, which are the three angles for Euler, okay? So I'm going to put angle one, angle two, and angle three, and that would convert into a rotation matrix. So since I already defined these angles, I'm going to copy this, and put it here and I call this variable RE which stands for rotation using Euler angles and as you can see here I got a rotation matrix 3 by 3 again if, would, if I'd like to do the same thing uh, using convert from Euler angles to transformation matrix instead of rotation I use the same command but instead of putting R here I put TR which is a transformation matrix okay so I'm gonna call this TE T Euler I'm going to use this command. I will put also the same three angles as input arguments. And that would give me a 4x4 four four transformation matrix. But the rotation portion of this is exactly the same as the rotation matrix that we found earlier. Now, if I'd like to convert from a transformation matrix and extract the Euler angles out of it, I can use this command, TR to EUL. So that's transformation to Euler. And inside here, the argument I put T, which is the transformation matrix. I'm going to call this EU, which stands for Euler. And it will spit out the three Euler angles for this transformation matrix. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And you can see uh, the three uh, Euler angles that are displayed right here. OK. So this is the end of uh, this video for chapter two. And uh, these commands here are helpful uh, both in your uh, homework and in also MATLAB uh, robotics toolbox homework. Thank you.